in our studies in mathematics when you say d times d we say that is d welcome to deeper life family youtube channel please subscribe and get ready to be inspired transformed and uplifted happy viewing I say no to that thing that is of the flesh do you ever say no to that thing that is weakening you and weakening you no matter how much you pray and no matter how far you go in consecration when that thing comes do you ever say no the people who don't know how to say no and the people who don't check their mind they don't check their heart and they don't check their propensity to sucking in evil there's going to be spiritual death there's going to be sad death and there's going to be the second death after a lifetime of just yielding and yielding and yielding to temptation and look at uh, the word of god in james chapter 1 reading from verse 15 then when lost has conceived it bringeth forth sin and sin when it is finished bring it forth death bring it forth death in the first chronicles chapter 10 first chronicles chapter 10 i'm reading from verse 13 so saul died for his transgression which he committed against the lord even against the word of the lord which he kept not and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it this was the soul the king when he came to the throne he searched for all the witches and the wizards and all the necromancers and all the people that dealt with familiar spirit and ex and they got them out of the land after a person has so consecrated himself and that everybody knew now he got a problem and he wanted solution and he said go look for me and search for a witch somebody having familiar spirit and when they got this witch of Endor, she reminded them, you know, Saul, you know how he drove everyone away. You want to endanger my life? No, Saul had changed. It's not the same man of conviction as it was when he came on the throne. Many people like that, they have changed. The things they will not touch. Many years ago, the things they will not taste. Many years ago, the things they will not come near. Many years ago, the things they will run away from. Many years ago, today, they befriend them. They go along with them. And their lives are totally changed like Saul. And we're told God then smote him and killed him for his transgression look at verse 14 in verse 14 and inquired not of the lord therefore he slew him and turned the kingdom unto david the son of jesse i pray god will preserve our lives preserve our consecration that the vomit that we, have, that we have given up before we don't go back again like the dog to swallow up a, a vomit anymore in Jesus name Revelation chapter 21 I'm reading from verse 8 in Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 for the fearful the unbelieving the abominable the murderers and the armongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars please remember that white lie all liars professional lies all liars they were trained in their field that whatever this happens and your director asks you tell him a lie they say it's for the profession but all liars or maybe 
lying in the family that you know the wife is lying to the husband and the husband is lying to the wife I'm telling him that lie because you know he has hypertension and if I tell him the right thing is his blood pressure will shoot up he might die my sister that's an excuse if you are going to tell the truth tell the truth if you want to get to heaven those who trade in line and those who kind of the merchandise of line they will not get to heaven all liars will have their part in the lake which burns with brimstone and then there are people uh, well this work uh, there's no work now in the country and if I tell the management the real truth about this I will lose my job if I lose my job how do I try to get another job and because of that they told a lie they cover that lie with another lie and when you are about to discover that they cover it with another lie you might keep your job you might not keep the job even with the line because God is on the throne he can still make you to be suspended or to be dismissed even if you told the lie but the point is whether you keep the job you don't keep the job all liars shall have their part in the lake which burn it with fire and brimstone which is the second death the people that you know go about all they can do is i saw you talking to the pastor i hope you didn't tell him the right thing about that thing we did and about that thing we're covering up please don't get me to trouble never tell the pastor or anybody that can tell him that this is what happened and to a liar and you're covering up the lie and you're influencing another person to cover up the lie but please remember please remember the fearful i'm afraid what will happen if i tell the truth and the unbelieving i don't believe god can protect me if i tell the truth and the abominable you've done abominable things instead of confessing so that you can be cleansed and you can be washed abominable you're still into that thing and all murderers and all mongers and the sorcerers and the idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burn it with fire and with brimstone which is the second death was the second death the final separation from the almighty god all through eternity it is the death of death the death of death in our studies in mathematics when you say d times d we say that is d squared death of death you know that word of when you want to really calculate you remove that off and you put times so death of death death times death d squared is a second death final thanks for watching this video please don't forget to like share and comment god bless you